good looking. Do you want some yummy stretches for the neck and the shoulders? Maybe to do while you're seated at your desk or after a workout or just any old time? Well, grab a chair, have a seat, and follow me on these amazing stretches to help release the tension in your neck and your shoulders. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s or in this uh, case, the neck and shoulders of their 20s. Hey, listen, George and I are really happy to see you here. And if you'd like more workouts specific for the over 40 body, click the subscribe button, click that notification bell so we can keep working with you. Now, just an FYI before we get into this, this is not meant to diagnose any existing shoulder or neck um, injuries that you may have, all right? You need to go see your doctor or physical therapist or physiotherapist. These are mainly to help relieve muscle tension that can happen when we're at a computer a lot or we're doing a really heavy upper body workout or we just got a lot of stress happening and it seems to be piling up here on the traps. So shall we? Awesome. Have a seat for me. Feet are firmly planted on the ground. There's a good metaphor for life, FYI. Now from this position, I want you to bring the ear to the shoulder and then roll the neck to the other side. Line the ear and the shoulder up again and then do it again. So side to side, neck, uh, range of motion here. We're just moving forward. Relax the shoulders. So when we do this, be aware in this whole series of whether or not you're bringing the shoulder up to meet the ear. We don't want to do that. That's going to uh, contract your tra trapezius muscle, your trap, what we call them. And those guys already tend to be very active. And what we're looking to do is to release them. So just keep those shoulders relaxed. One more each direction. And head back to center. Now get the chin centered, nod the chin into the chest, and then look straight ahead to me. Good, do it again. Two more. Last one. Now chin centered, look over your left shoulder, leading with the chin, look as far over as you can to center in the other direction. Don't twist through the torso, this is just coming through the neck. So this is like we're shoulder checking, right? Do shoulder check, back to center. So we're shoulder checking with the neck, not shoulder checking what we see a lot of people do. They gotta turn their whole body because they just don't have that neck mobility. So let's keep our neck mobility. One more each direction. Beautiful. Chin centered, arms down by the side, big circles. Doesn't matter which direction because we're gonna go both ways. Good, one more. Now the other way. Really exaggerate your range of motion on this. Nice. One more. Good. Now grab onto the back of your chair, scoot yourself forward, open the chest up, look up slightly, and just open the front of the body here. You keep holding. I'm just going to reposition my chair so you can see what this looks like on the side view. I'm holding onto the chair, opening the chest, and looking up. I've got a bit of an arch in my low back, but I don't feel my low back, okay? Does that make sense? Hope so. <laughs> Had to make sure I didn't put that chair leg on with the dog's tail. And release. Take the right arm, place it across, hold on to it with the other hand, Thumb is pointed up, and just let the weight of that right arm drop in your hand so we can fully release into the shoulder. So you'll feel back of the shoulder. Okay, maybe even mid-back too, on this right side. My thumb's pointed up, good. And I'm anchoring just at the elbow, just above the elbow. Now take that right arm behind the back, grab onto it with the other wrist, so grab onto the wrist with the left, and now drop the ear away from that right shoulder, getting into the upper traps. If 
This is a great stretch if you ever get tension headaches. Hold this stretch. Close your eyes. Do a few breaths. And see if that helps relieve that tension creating the headache. And back to center. Other arm straight across. Again, let the weight of that arm just drop into that right arm now. Thumb is up on this left side. Feel the stretch behind the shoulder, maybe in the mid-back. Take the hand behind the back, my palms facing away. I'm going to grab onto the wrist of that left hand with this hand and then pull the arm further behind me while I drop my right ear to my shoulder. And back to center, arms relaxed. Take the ear to the shoulder from me here. You can let this arm just drop out. Now you got a couple options here. You can just let gravity do its work and help and assist you with the stretch. Or you can take this hand and just gently, <laughs> the big cue there, gently pull the ear to the shoulder a bit more. Stretching into the scalenes of the side of the neck. And these guys can be pretty nasty and tight. Now as we hold this stretch, be aware too that your posture hasn't changed so we're not rounding and tilting in the pelvis. Now take the chin and turn it towards the opposite armpit and then grab the back of the head and gently pull down, getting into the levator scap a bit. Release the hand. Keep looking over the shoulder for me, but now look up and over. So getting scalings again, but more on the anterior side of the neck. My arm's just hanging by my side. I'm just letting gravity push it down to the floor and to center. All right, roll the shoulders, other side. Ear to shoulder, again, I'm gonna let this arm just drop down. And then if I wanna apply a little bit of pressure, create a deeper stretch through the side of the neck, maybe the top of the shoulder as well. The chin is tucked in a bit, and it's fairly squared, okay? So I'm not jutting it out, I'm not moving it around too much. It's just ear to shoulder, get the stretch I'm looking for, and then hold it there. Breathe into that side of the neck. Now let's turn the chin in towards the opposite armpit, pull down slightly. If you only remember one stretch when you're done with this, this is the one I would like you to remember. This is stretching a muscle called the levator scap, and she can be pretty nasty <laughs> and create a lot of issues with the neck. So I'll quite often actually hold this stretch like this in the shower and have the hot water go down the side of my neck. So the heat helps release the muscle further. Feels really nice. All right, now let go of the head. Keep yourself looking over the shoulder. Now look up. And back to center. There you go. George and I want to thank you very much for joining us. If you haven't already done so, please click that subscribe button. And if you've been to my workouts in the past and still haven't clicked subscribe, come on, it helps the channel. We could use your help. And as well, we would love to see you join us on Patreon. It's an amazing community of women over the age of 40, and they also help us keep these workouts on YouTube. It's all down in there in the description, and I hope I see you in the community. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Bye.